Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sudish and I am your instructor for this MS700 Teams Administrator Associate Examination course. In this lesson, we're going to talk about Teams Clients. Microsoft Teams has clients available for desktop, which is Windows, Mac and Linux, web and mobile, which is Android and iOS. It's integrated with communications and meeting rooms devices for frictionless experience, no matter which device user work from. All clients require an active internet connection and do not support an offline mode. Let's explore the desktop clients. The Microsoft Teams desktop client provides a fully featured experience, including real-time communication support for Teams meetings, group callings, and private one-on-one -on -one calls as well. Advantages of Teams desktop client include auto start, which ensures that you will always stay signed in and won't miss any important notification. These desktop clients can be installed either individually by users or rolled out by IT administrator in a mass deployment. The Microsoft Teams desktop client for Windows is available on 32-bit and 64-bit architecture. And this can be installed on Windows 8.1 or later and Windows Server 2012 or later. Additionally, Teams require .NET framework 4.5 or later. Mac users can install Teams by using PKG installation file for Mac computers. Any Mac operating system version which is above 10.10 .10 or later. Administrative access is required to install Mac client. The Mac operating system client is installed to the application folder. Microsoft Teams is now available for Linux users as a public preview. Teams on Linux enables high quality collaboration experience for the open source community. You can download the native Linux package in .deb and .rpm formats. What about web client? The web client is a fully functional client that can be used from a variety of browsers. The browser must be configured to accept third-party cookies. There is no plugin or download required to run Teams in a web browser. This web client performs a browser verification. And if an unsupported browser version is detected, it will block access to the web interface. Some of the browsing capabilities for Teams include like if you are using Internet Explorer 11, Calling and audio video sharing is not supported. If you, use, if you use Edge, it supports all functionalities. If you use Google Chrome, everything is fully supported. Firefox, the calling and audio and video calling is not supported. And Safari also, calling and audio and video sharing is not supported. So the fully supported browsers are Edge and Chrome. Let's explore the mobile clients. Microsoft Teams mobile app are available for Android and iOS platform. They are targeted to the on-go users who participate in chat-based conversation and they enable peer-to-peer -peer audio calls. The mobile app can be downloaded directly from their respective vendor mobile stores such as Google Play Store and Apple App Store. Android support is limited to the last four major versions of Android. When a new major version of Android is released, the new version and the previous three versions are officially supported. iOS support is limited to the two major recent major versions of iOS. When a new major version of iOS is released, the new version of iOS and the previous version are officially supported. Now that we have understood the different types of Teams clients, desktop and mobile and the web client, the next lab, we are going to explore how to prepare Teams roles and licenses. So I will see you in the lab section. Till then, take care.